Good morning, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. This morning, Tom is very kindly driving me to the train station, dropping me off, and then I'm heading into Manchester to meet Lydia again. We're gonna have a work day. She's finally gonna join YouTube, so I'm gonna show her a bit about editing and how it all works. If you are new to this channel, I do weekly vlogs every Sunday, so please hit that subscribe button down below. And I also upload fashion hauls, shopping videos, beauty videos during the week as well. The sun's out, which is great, although they have predicted potential thunderstorms later, which isn't. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Turns out the trains were cancelled, or mine was anyway, and Lydia's was delayed. So I had to get the bus in, and I'm just um, walking to go and meet her now with my heavy bag with laptop in. We're going to a place called Foundation Coffee House. I don't know where I'm going, because I don't really know this area of Manchester, so let's go see Lydia. I have met with this one. We, yeah, we finally got here. We had a bit of a mission to get here, but we got here. It took about an hour and a half to get oh, here. Oh, I know. I set my alarm at seven o'clock this morning. It's I probably about six. half ten-ish now. Yeah, now. we've only just got here. Anyway, we're here. The sun is shining, which is great. We've actually stumbled across a craft centre and cafe, which I've never been to before. I don't know I this area. In the cafe. I know. It's busy. Yeah. Also, there's loads of like townhouses down there. We're only in Northern Quarter, but I had no idea no, this place I've, I've existed. Never come out this far. Oh, there's another blogger there. Oh yeah. Oh, it must be a uh, blogger central. Oh. Someone taking pics. It's quite nice though when that yeah, it happens because you're like, oh, I'm not the only one. Nice. Um, they're probably looking at us. Oh look, there's blogger over there. <laughs> there's a charity shop there as well, so we might have a quick peek in there. But for now, should we go in and have Let's a look go. at the craft section? Oh, this is unusual. We are at a place called Foundation Coffee House and I have got my first ever acai yeah. bowl, so it is vegan. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Looks very pretty. And then what did you go for a salad? Um, yeah, but I can't remember what a salad it was. banana loaf there because just in case I don't want this is like you want. And then juice wise I think we both have the same. What's it like? Quite nice. I feel like it's gonna over smell. Yes, it tastes green. I actually quite like green juice though. I think it's kale kiwi. You come back? Mm. I can't tell it tastes like fine from here. Verdict on the acai bowl is actually very good. I don't know if I'll be able to make them myself at home, but I'm very impressed. Really, really like it. It's very refreshing. <sighs> what a palaver that journey back was. Considering this morning I had to walk back into Burnley and get the bus. Is he gonna let you in? Smile. Smile, thank you. Al always works. Works a treat. Right, so I'm back with this one. Oh, sorry. Reason being is I had to get a train to Leeds. To, well, Leeds and then Geisley, where Tom was working today, so he could pick me up, and then we've got like a, what, 45 minute drive home now? So, brilliant. Lydia's train journey home was meant to be half an hour. It took an hour and a half. The train lines are just down today. They are bad, so not very reliant at all and i was going to get the bus back but then it started raining so i didn't want to have to queue for a bus in the rain so i figured i'd just come meet you and we can go get some food or something yeah we're going to the new venue at half seven anyway i'm going to end this clip because it's probably really windy and you can't hear me but when you next see us we'll probably be getting food somewhere because we like our food this is my date for the night he loves going on his phone Oh, he loves social media. <laughs> We're at Banny's Vision Chips. Yummy! Good morning, it is Wednesday, I've got a hair in my mouth. <laughs> and today I am off to Manchester to meet Lydia. We're actually meeting a videographer today because I'm thinking about some ideas for a new channel trailer so stay tuned for that and then we're gonna like shoot some looks and hopefully just soak up the sun really because it's meant to be 22 degrees and not a cloud in the sky today Tom and I are just going to be to grab some breakfast I'm gonna drop you off at work and then take the car because the trains are messing up a bit at the minute there Lydia's train's just been cancelled the one in front of hers I know 
there's apparently shortage of train staff and then change over of timetables I don't know but either way I will see her this morning spend the day with her and then tomorrow I'm off to the Trafford Centre which will be exciting also I just wanted to say we watched that documentary last night didn't we about the one year anniversary um since the bombing and uh, well I sobbed sobbed I don't know why the fire engines weren't allowed in that was weird wasn't it Sorry, they weren't allowed that it was a hot zone but they no and then they didn't even their only job was to like clear up afterwards like the extra oxygen canisters or something and then they refused to take part in the documentary didn't they odd anyway uh really interesting if you want to watch it definitely recommend catching up let's go get some breakfast and set off to manchester just downed this because I was so thirsty. I'm here with Lydia. Back again. Yeah, <laughs> we just had a nice little meeting about a potential trailer for our channel. And that means Lydia is definitely committing to a YouTube channel, which is thumbs up. <laughs> yes. And then we're actually gonna meet Hannah as well, aren't we, for lunch somewhere. I'm thinking somewhere in the sun. I still don't get how, I mean, you can't really tell, but right there is a big next with a Gino's restaurant in it, and right opposite is a Gino's restaurant. <laughs> it's bizarre that, isn't it? Yeah. This dress, by the way, is from a brand called Dolls Kill. Bit of an unusual brand. When they reached out to me, I had a look at their website and did judge a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but they do have some really nice pieces on there. So I'll leave it linked below along with the other outfits that you may see in this video. And then jewelry is just a pretty little thing. So, thank you. Here with Lydia and Hannah, met up with Hannah. Just enjoying the sun with our diet coats. <laughs> We're such good girls, aren't we? Really There's no vodka in here, I promise. Yeah, April spritz, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it's So Hannah has now gone home, hasn't she? She's left us to get on with some work. We're, we're just literally like having a bit of a power hour and then I'm gonna set off before hitting the traffic because I did drive in today. Going to see Tom. I think we might be going for food for the bar tonight, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Also, what do we think of her lovely headscarf? Was it Zara? I'm Zara. Yeah, really like it. Love it, they've got quite a few to choose from as well, haven't they? Yeah, there's like nice coloured ones. I'd say that's the most neutral one. Yeah, I think there's like this, but the other way around, like a black. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice as well. So, we're going to be shooting our trailer on Tuesday, which is fun. Just thinking about loads of new ideas for it, aren't we? Yeah. I think I might try listen to some music. So. Yes. Side on music, what we want. We're very bright here. We are very bright. It's a bit better. Um, I'm gonna fall off this chair. <laughs> Hello. Look at that face. Oh. Oh yeah. Finally back home. I feel like it's been a long day. Very productive though, which is always good. We've just been to the bar for some food, and Tom's gone out for a nice little walk with Ralph and his friend Vinny. So I did get a couple of parcels that I thought I would show you. The first one being, where is my phone? The first one being this phone case from Ideal of Sweden. You'll have seen that I love Ideal of Sweden cases. I actually have a few of theirs, but this is my new favourite. It was with a collaboration with, I think she was a Swedish blogger, Hannah Licious, I think she's called. But yeah, I love this sort of like gold flex and it's kind of got subtle pastel colours in there. And then I also got a box from Imagination PR. They sent me some products from the brand color wow bionic tonic coconut cocktail kale cocktail and carb cocktail bonds a 3d fiber mesh layer to fat and fine limp strands after shampooing and conditioning towel dry hair lightly shake bottle well pour a coin sized amount in hands and smooth through your hair and comb do not rinse so that is what they look like there is a pop and lock high gloss shellac there is a one minute transformation styling cream and a thicken and lift spray. Oh yeah, okay, so this is really random because it's from a brand that I don't know. It is Bose and Bay or Bose Babes, Bose Boutique 
official is the handle there we go these things i briefly opened they're not really my style i'll be honest so i'm probably looking to maybe donate these items these are the shoes as you can tell they're like little sandals with a butterfly silver as well which at the minute all i'm really wearing is gold but there's also two clothing items in here somebody will appreciate them and obviously they're all still labeled brand new so these are in a size 10 to 12 they're like cigarette style trousers floral pattern and then this is cute if it was in a more muted color i actually have one similar in white and it is like a little crossover stretchy top and then it gathers again there at the wrist and as for now put my pjs on take all my makeup off some youtube catch up because i feel like there's quite a few videos that i want to watch and catch up on so that's my plan until tom gets back and then we're up early tomorrow morning like I said, off to the traffic centre, but I was planning on having the car and fortunately Tom has to go to work in it. So that means a bit of a detour in terms of me having to drop him off in order to get to the traffic centre. Bit of a palaver, but there's no like public transport to the traffic centre from where we are. I arrived at the traffic centre. I arrived a little bit early because it doesn't open until 10. I was like 10 minutes early, but it's now open. So I'm going to go head inside, find the new store Argento and pick out some of my top picks to show you guys over on my Instagram stories, which you'll have already seen. And I'll show you here on the vlog as well and pick up my Olivia Burton and Argento collaboration watch that they're very kindly offered to gift me. Then head over to Selfridges with Tom Ford. I've got an appointment with them and also to check out phase one of the new beauty hall um, transformation so I'm very excited for all of that to come today a little bit of shopping in there as well obviously um why not I'm here and also might pay a visit to five guys because it's one of my favorite fast food stores we'll see at the Argento store. I'm just having a look around at all the different brands. So we have Clue Swatches here, which is obviously a brand very popular amongst all the bloggers. And then we have a new brand that I've never heard of before, but I'm really enjoying Karma. And then we have the Argento brand here, which is really nice because it's very like pretty and dainty, which is, as you know, very much my style. And then also I'll show you the Olivia Burton watches, which I love. So you've got a really, really large selection to choose from. And then a couple more here as well. I love these rings with the little bees on. Love them. So this is the collaboration that they've done. So it's exclusive in this store and online. So I'll leave a link to it below. And then we've got some yummy little sweets in there as well and also a bracelet so i'll show you this now this is the very cute little dainty bracelet which like i said i love dainty jewelry i think less is more And that is your traceless perfecting, which is a medium, but you can build that to more of a full coverage. This again is more of a dewy finish. Then you have the traceless stick foundation, covers all areas of foundation. So if you use a small amount and buffer it in, it's just light coverage, but it goes right up to full coverage. So this is the finished look that Tom Ford had created, which I'm obsessed with. Very glossy, we've even put a bit of gloss on the brow bone, which I love. And keeping it all natural, dewy, hydrated. I love it, I'm obsessed. This is definitely reminiscent of living in America. Love this, I went for grilled cheese, chips, and a shake, yum. Home. Sweet home, it's half five, so Tom is due back home 
I'd say in like an hour and a half. Now, I'll be honest, this bag, believe it or not, is a Primark haul because they have Primark in Selfridges in Traffic Centre and it was filled with really good stuff. So it's still the same price point. It's still a lot of items that it, I've seen in normal Primark, but I just feel like the selection, the way that they visually merchandise the store is really, really good. It doesn't look like Primark at all. I'm gonna put that out there. Okay, so I also got gifted the bits at Olivia Burton at the new Argento store. So I will do a full blog post all about this if you wanted to see that then i will link it below but i was very grateful for that and having a look around the new store and then i had my makeup done at tom ford i also had like a fragrance um combination put on me which i'm obsessed with i'm not gonna lie and it was actually the same combination that the makeup artist david who i'll leave his instagram below actually he's just started a new account the fragrances that i really liked happen to be the same ones that he liked there is a lip color in here in number nine true coral how cute is that i love tom ford packaging anyway so that is a gorgeous true coral pop of color perfect for summer so we have the traceless perfecting foundation in number two buff and we have the illuminating primer that one and then also two perfume samples which is the combination that i'm currently wearing as was he they are tuscan leather and venetian bergamot and i kid you not this is the perfect combination for like this kind of time of the year the tuscan leather would be great in winter but the venetian bergamot just adds that light like that bergamot scent, which I absolutely love, just lightens it for spring, summer. And then also the PR team at Selfridges very kindly gave me this box. I don't actually know what is inside. We have another box. <laughs> oh my word. <gasps> okay, please note, not all of these brands included in this box are available in store, but will be later this year. Bit of a hint. We have a By Terry product, which is a lip balm. Never tried By Terry before. Always wanted to with Lydia Lee's Millen. Always raving about it. So excited to try that. We also have, oh my God, this is so exciting. This is what I can see, by the way. Oh, makeup lovers out there. We have Lime Crime Velveteen's lip product in Riot. This is the liquid matte lipstick. Um, like I said, in Riot, which is this shade here. It's like a nice vampy color, perfect for later this year. And then inside we have a little hourglass pouch with, oh cute, a makeup brush. Okay, so in here is an hourglass veil mineral primer. I love this primer. I'm obsessed with it, so I'm so happy. I've actually never had a full-sized one of these. So I am very excited about this. We also have from Hourglass the Ambient Light Palette. I already have an idea as to what this looks like. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. How pretty is that? Let me just swatch this middle one for you. Oh my god. Let's see what else is in here. We have a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, I literally get so excited over makeup. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so A, love this packaging. All very minimal and it's kind of like embossed on the front Natasha Denona. And then inside we have a pretty out there palette. Look at that. These colours in particular big thumbs up from me. And then also this row here. I mean, the colors, whether or not I'll experiment with them, I'm not so sure, especially the blues, but I do like to use like a deeper purple when autumn comes around. But these ones in particular, these five and then these three, love. Oh, how exciting. Oh, this is so cute. We have a personalized little FF purse here from Mon Purse. It's in my perfect color. So thank you so much for that. And then I've also got a little notepad, which is personalized again with Frizz Beauty Notes. Sucker for good stationery. Oh, also Anastasia Beverly, Hill, Beverly Hills. Anastasia Beverly Hills is now there as well. They've got Huda Beauty there now. Well, there's gonna be 170 brands available in total. Much, much appreciated with all of that. This clip has gone on far too long because I'm so excited that I just... <sighs> This is actually my first Lime Crime lip product as well. I mean, I've heard lots about it because it's 
been a bit of a controversial brand in the past. So I will save this for a Primark haul, so stay tuned for that. Tom is back home, but I am off to pick up a little takeaway. We're having kebab tonight from our local takeaway place, so I'm off to pick that up along with some chocolate. And Tom is actually prepping our garden for a big order or delivery of gravel tomorrow, so that's what we've gone for in the end. Now I've been sorting car insurance out for my new car, which I'm trying to get boxed off. It's a Citroen C3 flare. So we've just had a delivery. <gasps> And Ava's opened it for me. Quickly, look. What was that? Dun dun dun! Do you like it? It's a bit big for you, though, isn't it? I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got one like this? A black one. A what one? A black one. A black one. A black one. We can be matching. <laughs> Do you want to show them your sweetie shop? Come on then. This handbag is from a brand called Teddy Blake, which they very kindly gifted me this bag, so me and Ava can be matching because you've got a black one. Love it. Right, let's see your sweetie shop. Ooh. We're missing something. Oh, put the lollipop on there. <coughs> so if I come into your shop, can I please have... Oh, look. Oh, no. Look. What is that? I can get it. Ooh. Shall, I, shall I put it on? Don't, don't put it on this planet. What don't. about this? Oh my goodness, Nate. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, We've it? lost it. Where's it gone? Oh no, I'm not touching it. <laughs> We've lost oh, it. Look, it's not crawled in my shoe. Oh, you'd feel it tickling your feet. I found something. What are you doing? Why did you get a football sticker? Because I think good tiny up. Because you what? This good tiny up. You're tidying up? You just shout at that right, you might you? I need to tidy up. So I wasn't actually going to vlog today because <laughs> it's a bit later on in the day now, but I wanted to show you the process of stage two of our little garden transformation. Tom is just currently unloading the gravel that we've just ordered. I also, as you can see, got a little delivery from this brand, Teddy Blake, which I really, really like the style actually. I don't know if this style is available yet, but what I'll do is I'll link it below if it is. Oh, and another exciting delivery and new addition to our garden is going to be this pizza oven which Tom bought so just kind of been building it today and it is now set and ready it only takes 10 minutes to heat up which is ideal and then you make like a 60 se second pizza that's how quick it takes to cook we've also been making the dough that's the one we've just made and here's one we made earlier oh my god <laughs> Tom the dough is still rising. That first one is ne nearly full. Did you open? No. And I, meanwhile, whilst being a little helping hand as and when he needs, I'm writing a blog post. So it's a come shopping with me to the traffic centre blog post. Features a couple of exciting new announcements and lots of imagery. So I'm going to try and get a bit more on the blogging game because I feel like I feel like I should sneak peek of the blog post i use blogger if anyone's interested and this is my blog very farrington and then something you might like shop my wardrobe recent posts if ever you want to check it out it's just freyofarrington.com we've got you've been framed on in the background because ava tom's niece was just here phase two complete we've got white walls gray gravel Next job is I'm going to like dress it with plants and get the pizza oven out here, maybe a bench and or table and chairs there, some plants and stuff to hide up this thing and maybe just to cover up here some more plants and nice things. And then I think, Tom, you're going to do the gutters, aren't you? Because it's not a job for me. I feel like this needs some plants and greenery on as well. <laughs> Dough ready, basil tomato and then we've got the oven how long will it take to get ready another 10 minutes what's the brand uni, uni. and we're matching matchy matchy <laughs> oh look and this is where you make it got some mozzarella some 
tomato, keeping it simple and fresh with basil, parmigiano. Into the oven, 60 seconds, bish, bash, bosh. That's what we're hoping, anyway, we'll see. Meanwhile, we're watching how to, how to get fit fast. How is there anything wrong with pizza? At least it's all fresh. This is the result and we are super impressed with that. Oh God, look at the state of you. The, uh, the what is it should be rising more, the crush is rising more. Pizza night at ours is gonna become a thing. We're gonna make it happen. What did you say? Small breasted. This is what he says I am, small oh, breasted. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're talking about somebody else. We're on a mission this morning to transform our garden. As you've seen it, like yesterday, day before, we've been working on painting it and putting the gravel in. We had the pizza oven, which was a success last night. Today, we are gonna go to Burnley, to TK Maxx, B&M, Poundland, those kind of places to just try and get some plants and things to go in the garden just to, pardon? Colne? Yeah. I think, yeah, but I think Burnley will be better. We can do Colne. It's, the only reason why is that B&M has the outdoor bit, but you're not bothered for B&M, are you? You think TK Maxx? Okay, we'll do Colne then. So still Colne has TK Maxx, B&M and Poundland. And then at B&Q on route home to grab some plants, hopefully. I'm thinking, we're hoping for like some like hanging planters down the wall. Well, you'll see the result anyway. This is the dough that Tom made yesterday. This is the second batch, which we thought was drier, but do you think that's right? I think that. Look how much it's <laughs> Literally, the ball was probably about that big, like the size of your fist. So we've got, I reckon we've got one, two, three, four, eight, 16. Yeah, that's plenty. That's ideal, I reckon. I'm glad you made the second batch. <laughs> this makes me want to cry. This that Tom ordered, he thought it was one bag of flour from Amazon. Right, off to booze to get from Brackle Fast Why don't we just go to that really good uh, bakery home and get a... Uh, oh no, that's just bread. It's well good though. No. Come on for it. So far we have decided on this big plant pot and this little one. Four ninety nine. This one's in the clearance at eleven. We're gonna go with like these kind of like coppery golds and teals, orangey and teal kind of colour. That's what we're going for. So TK Maxx done. We've also been to Aldi and Pound Stretcher, but they didn't have anything. I think we need to try TK Maxx in Burnley. Okay. My eyes look really blue when I wear blue. Mm, good, I don't really wear colour very often, do I? And I ain't going is that normal load, I think? Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're always following your mum. TK Maxx number two. Next stop. Woo. Quite like this. Quite I like these plants. What do you call them? Yanni or Laurel. Next stop, the range. And this one also has a garden centre. We're just going to go to Poundland now. Our last stop is Thank you. But before then, we've got local to us. Oh, we're not gonna be able to get down here. A place called Pendle Mill, Pendle Village Mill, which has like lots of different furniture. There's also a little tea room, so we're gonna have something to eat first. Are we going under here? We're in. We now have a, a greenhouse within our car. This palm, it's probably my favorite one we bought, apart from the mother-in-law's tongue, but that's for inside. This one's probably the favorite big one we bought, but it's so spiky, isn't it? When you touch it, it's like a needle. Right, so this is the progress we've made so far. How cute is this? To be honest, it's making me realize how much more space we've still got. Yeah, well, you don't, there's no room for a bench here now. You've gone too far out with that, unless you put that there. No, I, I like that there. TK Maxx, TK Maxx. Tom, where was that Tom one from? Uh, the tall one. The range, is it? Oh yeah, the range. As, oh no, these three, like terracotta ones, are from B&M Bargains. That little blue one is from TK Maxx. That's an old hanging planter I've had from TK Maxx for a while and we've just not used it yet. Uh, 
same with this lantern that was from TK Maxx it's a citronella candle which smells amazing so when we get a table we'll pop that on there that's an old candle that's burnt out and is now ready to be used as maybe a plant pot these little sand lantern things were from the works ages ago and again I've just never used them little concrete planters I actually made those and then we've got one hanging up there but it probably won't stay there a little herb garden up here and then some plants along here which neighbours have agreed to so we'll just bring that up a little bit so it's a bit more private it's very sunny Thomas we are sat at we've come to do forest for brunch we're sat outside because uh well nice. as you can tell it's lily <laughs> It's lovely jubbly. Oh, bottomless brunch. 19.50. Choose your favourite dish from the menu below and enjoy bottomless Prosecco refills. I would never go for that. Would you? Not for me. All you, all you get is just one dish, one food Not dish, and it's just as much, prosecco, as as much prosecco. I'd never do that. Oh my god, my forehead looks so big like this. Oh. You have that big forehead. I know. I've got a five head. Yeah, we're having a lovely brunch this morning before Tom goes to play cricket and then this morning I'm pretty much editing today's video because I haven't done it yet and vlogs take me the longest, I like that as well. Yeah, you know you can't leave that outside, do you? No, I know. I'm just saying I like it. We've seen this hammock that we absolutely love. Uh, there it is, look. This is what we want. £39 and it's like got fringing detail but I think we should have it in the corner. So I went for the pancakes, we've got some coffees and then what's yours? Eggs on bread. Yummy. It does look good though. Guys it is Sunday, it's bank holiday and I have literally spent all day pretty much. Ever since Tom's been at cricket I've pretty much been editing my entire, the entire day. I've been editing Sunday's vlog today so it was up a bit later today. I hope you don't mind. Um, and now I've got a Boohoo haul to edit because I want that up before tomorrow because tomorrow's bank holiday Monday. Myself and Tom are probably going to be going to Leeds Burstall to do like an Ikea shop, HomeSense, B&Q, that kind of thing, just to finish off our garden, which is so nearly there. So tune in for next week to make sure that you see the final result. It's, it's probably going to be finished tomorrow. I'm thinking hammocks, we've got furniture coming, we've got more plants, potentially fairy lights and stuff so yeah stay tuned for next week for that like final completion so i want the boohoo haul to be up by tomorrow well scheduled and uploaded for tuesday because i'm out all day tuesday filming in manchester as well we're going to be filming our trailers myself and lydia working with a videographer on that so that's super exciting i have a car that's a, a little update. I have gone for, so I just had like the finance approved, which I was a bit worried about because being a full-time blogger, it's not really a career that people are aware of, but they did approve me and it's a Citroen C3 Flare and it is black body with a white roof. I wasn't that fussed about colours, but I did say try and make it neutral. So they have that and that's ideal because the C3 flares have got that like side panel on in black. So I prefer, I'd prefer the body of the car to be black and it is. So that's perfect. So I'll probably be picking that up sometime next week. I've also just briefly spent some time on this room. I mean, it's still a bit of a mess, but all the shoe boxes that were here just in a mess, I've kind of stacked them very neatly under here still need to go through them all as these clothes do i need to go through as do i need to go through that tub these handbags and everything i'm just thinking a big donation slash depop sell because if it's like brand new or like a nice brand or whatever i'll put it on depop and then if not i'll probably just donate it so i am um, thinking about doing maybe sometime next week like a clear out wardrobe clear out um depop sell type video so yeah so you'll see that when it's live anyway so that is my day today this is my week this week i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you don't already it would mean so much to me i will link all my social media channels down below if you want to come over and follow me on there as well and thank you so much for watching i'll see you again next time bye guys